170 full park robots are dominating the world right now. Let me show you a robot that has potential to beat them all. Do you remember this robot? We've had it since November, but we've never finished it. Now is the right time. Let me show you this picture. Do you know what I'm talking about? Ladies and gentlemen! How does this robot work? Outside the supply zone, it's extremely slow. But we have a transmission. How about now? The transmission is inspired by Zorp. We're planning to either use pneumatics or a motor to shift the gears. Or you may have some better ideas. First, we full park. Then, another robot follows us in. But it's too bad that there's not enough space. But, if you make a turn... The other robot can fit! Yeah! Now you raise your ceiling from 170 to 185. Enough to beat any team on this planet. Making a turn in the supply zone is extremely hard, but not impossible. You need this, the ratchet lift. Puncher shared the ratchet. Austin posted it. Riley optimized it, and we learned it. The two ratchet boxes. You put them here, so you're able to lift the intake. Then you can turn in the supply zone. With the ratchet lift, the robot can also enter the supply zone. The robot's small, but it can still hold six purples, and 33 green cubes. It may not be able to clear the supply zone, but it can clear the rest of the field with ease. You won't be first in your division, but if you don't make any mistakes and with some luck, you may be fifth or sixth. And if you're paired up with a robot that can also full park, you just won yourself a ticket to the dome. And you're world champion! Yeah!